Hello all, it's the 5th of May 2016, it's Dan here from Essex United Kingdom. So the clearance is going well, starting to uh, get rid of a lot of the green waste here. So I'll just give you a quick uh, sort of look at what's going on. So if we go here, look, you can see that the uh, pile is uh, slowly going down, but there is a lot of work here. The big logs will be burnt on a wood burning stove. So quite happy about uh, that. I mean, you can see in amongst this look, all these logs that have been acquired, and there's a lot more than that. You can see all over here, look. These have all got to be cut up. There's still some more trees here. These have all got to come down. But when they do, once again, it will be more free wood to go on the wood burner so that's good and this is one of the big piles of logs I mean you wouldn't you truly wouldn't believe that uh, the sheer volume of logs that have or wood that's come off of this relatively small property and the good thing is because this a lot of this wood is not massive I mean this is about the biggest you can see by my hand here this is about the biggest sort of logs that have come off of it but um, this is more or less perfect size to go straight on a wood burner so quite happy about that, of course, uh, nowadays, with regards to wood, it's rather expensive because, of course, more, more and more people are now getting log, log burners and that sort of thing, wood burners, and, of course, the price is subsequently going up. But uh, if you can find a way of acquiring wood like this, more the better. And uh, here's another lot. This has all got to be same again, all sorted out, the bigger logs kept bigger bits kept for the wood burning stove, the rest of it disposed of. Yeah, so this bit down here of course is what's caused people some interest. Now obviously with some trees here that are set right close to the foundations of the house. I find it extremely unlikely that anyone would be stupid enough to deliberately set trees this close to a house and I would imagine that these have just grown you know grown wild but then you do never know nowadays what goes on but so uh, you can see the chainsaw has once again made short work of that and you may remember the the back garden had quite long grass well that has all been reduced chainsaw once again It seems a shame to um, to be honest with regards to taking these sorts of trees down, but it, it's a requirement and probably in their place will go some sort of polytunnel or uh, since this garden is south facing, the possibility of fruit trees could be good and grapevines etc etc. But uh, there's a good space here and much can be done with it. One just has to think what the best thing about the most suitable thing is. But uh, imagine a polytunnel like a six metre by three metre put there, and within the polytunnel, you know, some peach trees, watermelons all growing, exotic stuff, maybe a grapevine, who knows? But there certainly is room for that. It's amazing really what can be done with a little bit of uh, elbow grease, a bit of working together. Had a great day today, the weather is really nice. About 20 degrees, it's set to get up to about 22 degrees around here. But that's, uh, that's still the big pile as you can see. So, I hope that's interesting. I hope people are enjoying this series going to try and get some more sort of standard gardening and allotment videos up over the next uh, week or so. Okay, over and out. All the best.